Greetings everyone, Joseph James here from SchoolTrade.com. Today was April 5th, 2010. Here's your live trade and recap. Hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. Had the Easter holiday, Good Friday. Of course, last week we had Passover holiday. Uh, so a week filled with, well, they call it the Holy Week last week. And of course today, four the trades we took today, guys, I want to remind you guys, there's three important links in the description of the YouTube page. If you're watching this video right now on our YouTube page, you're going to see three important links. One's for our blog, lots of great stuff there, articles, webinars, everything on the blog. One for our 12-month track record. You can see how we've done the past 12 months. And, of course, the third one is for our three-week trial. Make sure you guys come out and join us as part of our free three-week trial. Let's see how we did today, guys. Let's see. Four, well, three total trades. We purposely skipped a wave entry there at the end of the morning on crude. We'll talk more about that. Pretty much as good as a winner there. Uh, would have taken us out for a full stop there, of course, and robbed us of all those points we had worked so hard to make so far today. Had a good day, though. 95 ticks, 950 USD. Good way to get the month of April off to a good start. Keep you guys posted the rest of the month. As you guys can see, we finished up the month of March with 7100 bucks. Uh, finish up that final week. Only had one losing day, the first losing day of the year right there, March 25th. Uh, and, of course, We'll keep you guys posted throughout the rest of the month of April. We expect a lot better price action in the month of April, though, now that we're through the end of the first quarter. So what was the most important thing that happened today? Well, it was the first day back. We expected, of course, with Easter Sunday being yesterday, Good Friday being last Friday. Uh, this morning, of course, most banks are closed in Europe and Canada because of a bank holiday. Of course, we celebrate Easter on Sunday. They carry it over into the Monday morning in Europe and Canada. So we expected to see a slow and choppy day today. Check the dollar index. It's going to tell the story, right? That dollar index, once the dollar begins to move, then we expect everything else to start moving. So if you're concerned about whether or not today is going to be a good day to be trading or not, just watch that dollar index. It will tell you the story. Then we also want to watch the first potential trade setup of the day to see how it reacts. We talked about speed in the trade room today, speed of the price action, speed of the pattern setting up, speed of the triggers, and then speed of the follow through. Okay, so watch that first trade of the morning. We saw it on crude oil this morning about 9 o'clock, and it really told us that story. It was slow and sluggish setting up. It barely, it barely triggered, and then once it triggered, it didn't go anywhere. Okay, so the speed of the setup through was slow as well, which means even once we got into that trade, it would have gone nowhere to begin with. Right? So we look for the first trade of the day and see how it reacts. At crude, 9, 9.05 this morning, we saw exactly what we thought we were going to see, that slow, sluggish speed, setting up, triggering, and follow through. And that pretty much told us what the rest of the morning was going to bring with us. So we had to wait patiently to kind of wait to see this market wake up this morning. Now, like I said, we always start with the dollar. Now, here's an example, guys, of the dollar, right? Dollar index futures. You've got your, you've got your slower time from here on the DX, right? Slower time frame here. You'll notice we marked up our double tops, our double bottoms from last week. And you'll see here we're trading sideways at the center of that kind of upper region of that sideways range. When we came in this morning, though, what we see? We saw nothing but where this circle is here. Okay, we saw nothing but sideways chop around that trend line there this morning. So we knew right away, be careful out there. Wanted to wait to see the dollar begin to jump before we started seeing anything else happen. Okay, that was the first thing we saw. Then we looked at the first trade of the morning here was in the wave. Okay, here at just before 10 o'clock. Now, of course, how does the wave indicator work? The wave indicator works real simple, right? We're going to see a wave signal first. Down here, lower left, there's your wave signal first. We're going to see this big jump to the upside here. But what do we see? Stutter step, right? Stutter step pattern right there, right? There's your stutter step. And so, of course, with this stutter step pattern being at the highs here, when we come trading back down into the bracket, into the zone here, Right below that 30.3, 29.8 level, we need to stay away from this trade. We need to stay away again because of that stutter step pattern. So the first trade of the morning here could have been one on the wave, but as you guys can see here, if you look right up the top here, right there is your stutter step pattern. Right, right there. That's an indecisive confusion pattern, right? They can't decide where they want to go. So what might be happening there is, we have to assume it's happening, is the sellers are now grabbing control of this thing and going to force this thing back down. Now, we're looking to go long here at 29.8 to 30.3, right? I'm looking to take a bounce back to the upside here. So we, don't, we aren't really looking too good for a long trade here. When I see that stutter step up at the top, we skip the trade because of it. And as you guys can see, 
the trade went right through our potential trigger point there at 30 even and it would have taken you out for a stop so as you guys know guys right what makes us profitable in the long term is not the trades we take but the trades we avoid good example here for the first trade of the day could have been a loss but instead we're sitting on hand still next up of course after that 9 55 10 o'clock uh, wave entry potential we skipped that one next up we took two back-to-back -back winners here on crude so we know exactly what we're waiting for when it shows up we'll take it that previous trade example we saw the stutter step pattern therefore we knew to stay away on this one now back-to-back -back winners here short-term trend to the upside here on crude right short-term trend up you can tell the slope of that trigger line there point it up we're going to break above this red line here 85 85 you can see this is a red line it's marked up automatically on my charts we're going to mark up our swing high level again another another indicator we use that marks up our swing high and then we break above that level okay so the first trade here at 1019 in the crew was a breaker pattern long 8590 was the fill again breaking above that initial that horizontal blue line there 8587 8588 we got filled at 8590 we took our first profit target at plus 4 moved that stop up to entry plus 1 kind of lucky fill there at plus 2 for 100 20 bucks or 12 ticks so we take two off at four stop gets moved up to entry plus one lock out all that risk never let a winner turn into a loser as you can see it came whipping right back down around unfortunately though we had already placed our stop there we were too quick for this market and we took it out at plus two so we got plus four plus two on the first trade and we simply of course made that plus two by our trade management strategy of moving that stop up to entry now we weren't done there yet right we kept seeing these highs being tested now second move of the day here on crude at 1022 we had just taken the first trade there now let's break above the second here this now of course at the high of day so what do we have to see green pace of the tape right green pace of a tape big buyers right big buyers I want to see green pace momentum pointed up big buyers in the tape that will give me the confidence we need to blow through that high of day we got exactly that 1022 breaker pattern long at the highest here 8601 now of course at this point my entry here was at 95 okay 95 was the high of day at that time trying to get around 95 we didn't get filled until all the way up here 8601 so a little bit of slippage here on this second trade of the day but as you can see we it was worth it 8601 was the fill we got plus 14 for our first and second targets so as that price was jumping here to the upside it blew right through our first two targets filled the first two targets at plus 14 ticks so we take three contracts off at 14 okay that's gonna bring obviously a bunch of profit in the door and then we finally trailer stop 20 more ticks or 62 ticks total All right guys so breaker long into the high of day green pace of a tape momentum pointing up very easy pattern to see in our charts and we took back to back breakers here one just below the high of day and the second one into the high of course make sure you guys see that green pace of the tape got a little bit lucky in the bounce but obviously you got to be there to get lucky right luck favors prepared so we got 62 ticks out of the second trade guys 12 ticks out of the first trade as you guys can see at that point right 74 ticks we were on a roll already this morning